Man, this is so satisfying. You can't imagine, guys. This is so, you know, I'm here with my car and first of all, of course, all the primary surfaces. And yeah, now I'm starting to connect and uh, blend everything. And let me just show you like one piece here. And yeah, I did already obviously some work. Here we have now to connect this uh, like wheel arch or what it's called in English, right? And then we have to connect uh, this piece here. So yeah, I will not talk so much, I will just do it. But first of all, we need some uh, additional edges here. So I will just imprint this curve, right? And now we can bridge it. And here we just need G1, so okay, other way around. And you see, we have a nice good transition and we have here tangency here we don't need any tangency and now because i want a nice uh, surface transition here and now i want um yeah this connection here so between the door and the wheelchair right it goes all around here on this porsche everywhere with the rounding so i want first to create here an additional line uh, shift B and uh, yeah, G1 will be fine right so you see we have still this very nice uh, circular shape and now we can start to loft those guys here and we see we have a pretty nice connection so for now because I'm practicing I'm going with G1 this is the most important and if we check reflection yeah, that looks okay, fine. And it looks pr pretty good, actually. And now we have this piece and this is so satisfying. So I just did that. That's why I'm recording that. And yeah, I'm mostly, so as you see, I'm mostly working with the quad based uh, workflow because it really gives the best result. Let me just show it to you. So here we bridge that, right? And we delete this uh, surface and let's see if everything connected. Yes, and now guys, Okay, so here we have an extra edge. So I will select it, delete rendered and topology and perfect. And so obviously we could first loft this, right? And then bring that into form to have a perfect connection. But again, I don't care about class A and just patch why make life hard. Because if we patch it now, bam guys, look, this is, and it's not even XNERPS. Of course, XNERPS would give us even better result, but this is so, so fine here for me and yes again it's not perfect it's just g1 uh, but yeah in the next few practices i will try to get here g2 but for me it's most important that we have a nice connection and yeah when you prepare everything when you work you know and when you start to loft and to patch after the block out so especially those pieces where we have a lot of surface trend like look at look at this reflection this it looks like lsd or something <laughs> no it's i love this car man so much i love this because it looks so simple but it's not at all because every line is so thoughtfully and it's just beautiful you know yeah so i'm having time of my life here and if you want to learn the full step-by-step -step process of modeling a Porsche 911 from scratch, I've created a brand new course that teaches you industry standard techniques with easy to use plasticity tools. You will master everything from creating precise curves to producing high quality, complex surfaces and blending seamless transitions, all broken down into simple steps. So if if you're ready to use plasticity in incredible, never before seen ways, check out first link in the description for all of the details.